So welcome back to Techers PH. In this episode, um, uh, we will discuss the BS Information System Curriculum. Kasi merong uh, subscriber natin na nag-inquire all about daw sa BSIS. Uh, for example, yung mga subjects niya, outcomes, at kung ano yung mga job roles na pwede na mapuntahan after makagraduate ng BSIS. So uh, bago tayo mag-start, don't forget to... Uh, Click uh, like, share, and uh, please comment uh, dito sa video na to. And don't forget to subscribe to Techverse PH. So without further ado, let's start this video. Okay guys, let's start uh, defining the BS Information System according to CHED Memorandum uh, Guidelines and Standards. So, ang sabi sa CHED, uh, nakastate doon na uh, this uh, BS Information System programs includes the study of application and effect of information technology to organizations. Graduates of the program should be able to implement an information system which considers complex technological and organizational factors affecting it. This includes components, tools, techniques, strategies, methodologies, and etc. So, yung mga IS professionals ay uh, required na magkaroon ng understanding about sa organization na pinagtatrabahuhan nila, about dun sa mga principles na pinapatupad ng isang company para ma-bridge nila yung ginagawa ng organization at saka yung technology na i-implement nila doon sa kanilang pinagtatrabahuhan sa management, sa users, or sa community ng company na kanilang ginagalawan. So, uh, this enables them to ensure that the organization has the information and the systems it needs to support its operations. Next naman is yung mga job roles na after makagraduate ng BSIS, ano yung mga trabaho na pwedeng uh, mapuntahan? Uh, ang primary job roles ng isang BSIS graduate ay ang mga sumusunod. Organizational Process Analyst, Data Analyst, Solution Specialist, System Analyst, IS Project Management Personnel. So, doon naman sa mga secondary job roles ay ito yung mga yon Applications Developer, and user trainer, documentation specialist, quality assurance specialist. Next is the graduate outcomes, attributes, or yung characteristic na kung saan after yung makagraduate, dapat doon kayo na-develop. Kasi yun yung pinag-aralan nyo all throughout the four years ng uh, course nyo. So ito yung mga yun. Knowledge for uh, solving computing problems, problem analysis, Design, development of solutions, modern tool usage, individual and teamwork, communication, computing professionalism and ethics in the society, and lifelong learning. Ito naman yung uh, mga description ng curriculum ng BSIS. So, ito yung kabuuan ng mga topics na mapapag-aralan natin kapag nag-take tayo ng uh, BSIS. So, ito ay bukod pa doon sa mga subjects. Mamaya, i-discuss ko rin sa inyo yung mga subjects. Pero ito yung mga specific topics na involved sa curriculum ng BSIS. First is the fundamentals of uh, information system. Second, professional issues in information system. We also have IT infrastructure and network technologies. System analysis, design and development. We also have enterprise architectures, information project management, IS strategy management, and acquisition. So, uh, katulad ng description na binanggit ko kanina sa inyo, na ito ay nag involve about the business processes and operations. That's why sa BSIS curriculum ay mayroong business enterprise courses o mga topic na isasama sa curriculum katulad ng organization and management concepts, financial management, business process design and management, evaluation of business performance, and uh, quantitative methods. Ang isa sa mga primary requirement naman uh, para matapos mo ang uh, BSIS course ay yung tinatawag na capstone project. Ito yung equivalent ng 
thesis sa computer science. Pero sa BSIS, taw ang tawag dito ay capstone project. So, ito yung isang uh, terminal project na requirements na dito nyo i-apply yung mga natutunan ninyo sa buong taon or apat na taon ng pag-aaral ninyo ng uh, BSIS. So, dito nyo ina-apply yung mga concepts and methods to a specific problem uh, sa area ng inyong specialization. So, ang uh, BSIS students must complete a project such as business application development or an information system plan. So, sa IS Capstone Project, nagpa-focus ito sa business processes and the implication of introducing a computing solution to a problem. So, ito naman yung mga list of uh, professional and elective uh, subjects na may encounter ninyo or itetake ninyo kapag kayo ay nag-enroll sa BSIS. So, ito yung list. First is Introduction to Computing, Computer Programming 1, Computer Programming 2, Data Structure and Algorithm, Information Management, Application of Development and Emerging Technologies, Fundamentals of Information Systems, Professional Issues and Network Technologies, System Analysis and Design, Enterprise Architecture, IS Project Management 1, IS Strategy, Management and Acquisition, Organization and Management Concepts, Financial Management, Business Process Management, Evaluation of Business Performance, Quantitative Methods, Capstone Project 1, Capstone Project 2, Practicum for Information System. Ito naman yung mga list of elective uh, subjects natin na pwedeng matake sa BSIS. So, kapag sinabi natin elective, ito yung mga uh, pipiliin lang natin na gusto nating subject na pwedeng i-enroll. Pero, syempre, depende kung i-offer ba siya ng uh, school. Pag minsan ay uh, in-offer siya during summer, papipiliin tayo kung ano yung mga course na gusto natin. Pero, hindi siya lahat ititake, pipili ka lang. Kaya nga elective. Um, uh, ito yung mga list ng elective uh, courses natin. Enterprise Systems, Human-Computer Interaction, IT Audit and Controls, IS Innovations and New Technologies, IT Security and Management, IT Service Management, IS Project Management 2, Data Mining, Business Intelligence, Enterprise Resource Planning, Supply Chain Management, and Customer Relationship Management. So, sana nakatulong kami na mabigyan linaw kung ano yung ini-expect natin kapag nag-take tayo ng BSIS course. So, ngayon nalaman natin kung ano ba yung mga courses, job roles, outcomes, at the uh, specific description ng course na ito. So, uh, sana ay uh, makatulong ito sa pagpe-prepare ninyo sa kung ano ba yung course na kukuhanin ninyo, especially kung ito ay IT-related course. So once again, maraming salamat sa inyong inquiry at sana nakatulong kami sa video na ito. And again, don't forget to like, share, comment this video and please subscribe to Tech Course PH. So sana lagi kayong safe, especially sa period na ito ng pandemic. So uh, once again, subaybayan nyo kami sa susunod naming video. Maraming salamat. Goodbye guys.